It's time to let the day go, Rebels. To let your mind wander to a beautiful old Italian city. Cobblestone streets and buildings with red tile roofs stand side by side along a wide river flowing right through town. Here, we'll meet an incredible artist who uses paint and shadow, the light and the dark, to make sense of the world around her. Her name is Artemisia Gentileschi. Artemisia used her art form to channel some of the most challenging experiences into her most meaningful art. But paint and canvas are just one way to use art to process emotions. You can write or draw or glue things you find down on a piece of paper or make a story out of sound like this one. So, Let's get started. Begin to imagine. Let your mind travel to that ancient city of Florence, Italy. Follow the breeze as it moves from the banks of the Arno River. To play among the full skirts of a young woman as she walks. Her curly brown hair is escaping in wisps from the white cap on her head. The city is beginning to come alive around her. She walks along the river to a place where she feels most at home, her art studio. This is Artemisia. She is only 21 years old, but she is already a professional artist. She's been studying with her father since she was very young. He's a famous painter too. But he has taught her all he could, and she finally has a studio of her own away from her noisy family. She gets settled in, comfortable on a stool in front of her canvas. She listens to the sweet coos of the morning doves in the eaves. She tickles her fingertips along today's canvas. Her paints are made from natural materials like clay and flowers. She breathes in their earthy scents and scoops up a dab of burnt umber, a reddish brown color, and smushes it together with a touch of yellow ochre then brightens it up with a hint of creamy white. Today, she's beginning a painting of the powerful heroine Judith. Like Artemisia, Judith is a survivor. She has already made a rough sketch on the canvas, and now she begins to paint. Artemisia moves her brush in slow, purposeful strokes. She doesn't know it when she starts, but it will take her six years to finish this painting. She fills the background with a color she has imagined while staring at the night sky. The color of midnight. 
when she steps back from the canvas to admire her work, she sees Judith, full of light, bursting from the darkness like a glowing, vivid moon. In Italian, this magical contrast between shadow and light is called chiaroscuro. Try saying it out loud. Chiaro scudo. Light and dark working together. This technique is what Artemisia became known for. She used the light to highlight the dark. She used shadow and depth to send important messages within her paintings. Chiaro scudo was and is a powerful technique for bringing images to life. On this day, Artemisia is perfecting her technique, and she is happy with what she's created. But it's late now. The sun has gone down. The world around her seems painted in chioscuro, just like the image on the canvas. She clasps her paint-stained hands over her heart, proud of her work. She packs up and heads home. Artemisia's life was full of all kinds of experiences. Good ones and bad ones. Sometimes unfair ones. Like when people took her paintings and said they were theirs. And other people believed them because they had a hard time thinking a woman as young as Artemisia could create such incredible works. But she didn't let these things stop her from creating, from expressing herself. Artemisia channeled these experiences into her art and found beauty in the most challenging moments. This is something we all can do, turning our experiences into art helps us see them from a different perspective. It can help us to feel stronger, braver, and better, like Artemisia does. As she strolls along the banks of the Arno River, the moonlight dancing off its glistening surface. When she looks, she doesn't see light and water. She sees yellow ochre, luminous indigo, and a rich, velvety burgundy. Before we leave this old city, full of art and history, and amazing women like Artemisia. Think about a time when creating something, maybe writing, drawing, painting, singing, or dancing, helped you feel better. What are some of your favorite ways to express yourself? What can you create? that will help you put your world into perspective. This podcast is a production of Rebel Girls. It's based on the book series Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. 
This story was produced by Katie Springer, with sound design and mixing by Bianca Salinas. It was written by Nicole Harutunian, fact-checking by Joe Radigan, narration by Bianca Salinas. Our executive producer was Katie Springer. Thank you to the whole Rebel Girls team who make this podcast possible. Stay Rebel.